Hello and welcome to Counseling Ethics Lecture 5. This is Dr. Amber Hughes and this lecture I'm going to go for credentialing and licensure for counselors along with accreditation of counseling programs. First we're going to start with counselor preparation programs. Counselors are considered professionals upon completion of master's degree programs. What that means is counseling is at the master's level. Okay, this is different from um, a bachelor's level degree, so you can be a social worker, a licensed social worker at the bachelor's level. Um, in order to do counseling type activities for social workers, though, you do need a master's degree. But there is no licensure or training for counselors at the bachelor's level. This is also different from psychology, where licensure and training um, is uh, at the PhD level. So there is a PhD in counselor education and supervision, but you don't need it to practice as a counselor. Okay, um, You're going to be able to practice as a counselor. You're going to be able to be licensed as a counselor at the master's degree level. If you want to teach counseling, that's at the PhD level. If you want to be a licensed psychologist, however, you need to get your PhD. There is no licensure for psychologists at the master's level. Okay. The training for counselors includes skill, competency, and counseling. Remember in that last lecture, I talked about how our focus is on getting you to be able to do counseling at the individual level, at the group level. Okay. Um, other courses uh, in our programs include assessment, ethics, research group, multicultural theory, and career, along with many others. But those are kind of the core um, core competencies you're gonna you're gonna um, try and achieve in a counseling program. The counseling profession created the Council for Accreditation of Counseling and Related Educational Programs, otherwise known as KCREP to set standards nationally. This is an attempt to really um, take back our identity, uh, to, not to necessarily take back, but to create um, our identity as counselors. And I say take back because the term counselor is used in a lot of ways for a lot of people. You have camp counselors and you have um, addictions counselors and you have career counselors who don't necessarily have to have a master's degree in counseling. Right. Um, and so by standardizing a lot of this stuff, like the counselor preparation programs, and they're trying to, they're pushing for um, licensure uh, to be more standardized from state to state. This helps us um, really create our professional identity and to advocate for ourselves as counselors. So KCREP is the standard that we uh, strive for. Um, in our counseling programs, and you can get accredited by KCREP. Okay, so whenever you're looking for counseling programs, you're looking for programs that are KCREP accredited. KCREP standards include the following, human growth and development, social foundations, helping relationships, group work, career and lifestyle development, appraisal, research, professional orientation. Those are the, again, those are the basis for the classes that you take. Okay, the, the actual program is a 60 credit hour program, um, and so these um, standards may be split up throughout different classes. You also complete a 100 hour practicum if you graduate from KCREP accredited program, along with a 600 hour internship. Okay, so that's accreditation. Remember, accreditation is at the program level or the school level. Um, your credentialing comes in many different forms and different levels. So it's at the um, uh, program level for accreditation. Um, it's at the individual level for degrees and licensure and certification. Okay. So first we're going to talk about certification. All right. So certification for counselors is at the national level. It's a voluntary certification. You don't need it to, to counsel. What it does is it gives you um, a credential, again, that is nationally recognized. And again, this is an attempt to really um, identify ourselves as counselors. It is something that um, you can use um, like behind your name, right? Um, you can call yourself a nationally credentialed counselor. 
And this certification is offered through the National Board of Certified Counselors, otherwise known as NBCC. So get used to learning all these different acronyms. So far we've got KCREP, now we've got NBCC. NBCC offers the national um, certified our national national counselor exam, the NCE, um, which will um, make you, if you pass it, a national certified counselor, an NCC. Okay, so the NCC is the credential you get by passing the NCE, which is the exam. Um, now, licensure, however, is at the state level. Okay, um, so you might be, depending on the state, you might be an LPC, you might be an LPCC, you might start off as an LPCA, um, you might be an LMHC. Okay, those are all different acronyms. They all essentially mean the same thing. You might be a licensed professional counselor, a licensed professional counselor associate, a licensed mental health counselor. All right, it just depends on the state. Um, you, for licensure, um, you need to graduate from a counseling a, a graduate counseling program. L some states are going to accepting only individuals who um, graduate from KCREP accredited programs um, for licensure. Okay, so uh, Kentucky is one of those states. And a um, in Kentucky, you have to have graduated from a KCREP accredited program in order to apply for licensure at the state level. Okay, um, what you want to do is you want to look at the state's um, licensing board, their website to find out what you need to do to work towards becoming a licensed professional counselor in your state. Um, the, the, the graduate program um, isn't typically enough to get you licensed, okay? Um, so first you need the graduate program, um, maybe KCREP accredited, maybe not. And then you um, typically need to do some sort of residency. You might need to complete anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 hours of supervised hours after graduation. Okay, so once you complete your internship and once you graduate, uh, then you may need to do um, supervised hours um, in order to apply for your LPC. Some states require you to apply for, uh, I mentioned your LPCA, your Licensed Professional Counselor Associate. Um, license before you can start counting those hours. Um, so you need to graduate, apply for your LPCA, get that approved, get your supervisor approved, and then start um, accruing those hours towards your LPCC. Um, some some states require you to also take an exam. Some states require you to take the NCE, the National Certified, uh, the National Counselor Exam. Um, some states require you to take other uh, other exams before you um, are able to get your license. Again, you'll just want to visit your state's website. The degree is a credential also. And so you may graduate from um, with a Master of Science degree, a Master of Education, a Master of Divinity, a Master of Counselor, a Master of Arts, right? It just depends on your school, okay? Um, again, counseling is at the master's level though. So, um, so you do get a, a degree once you graduate. And then finally is program accreditation, which we talked about. Um, for counseling, program accreditation is KCREP accreditation. That's kind of the, again, the gold standard. Um, SACS accreditation in our area, um, SACS accredits um, all schools um, in, in the region. So you want to make sure that your college, so it's at the college level, you want to make sure your college is SACS accredited. Finally, um, ethical standards and credentialing. What do ethical standards say about credentialing? Um, professional counselors are required to present credentials accurately. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are um, that you have the credentials that you are you are saying you have. Right? You don't want to present yourself as a licensed counselor if you don't yet have your license. You don't want to present yourself as a, a counselor if you're a counseling intern, a counselor in training. Uh, the ACA Code of Ethics. Um, the most recent version in 2014 says that counselors may claim or imply only professional qualifications actually completed. So if you are one class away from graduation, uh, you don't call yourself a counselor. Uh, counselors must also clearly distinguish between paid and volunteer work experience to your clients. Um, Counselors may also advertise only the highest degree earned in counseling or a related field. For example, you might have a PhD in computer technology. That would not be recognized with counseling credentials. Okay. So you wouldn't, so you um, may, you wouldn't 
present yourself as being Dr. So-and-so uh, to your clients if you don't have a degree in counseling, okay? Um, you want to make sure that they clearly understand what your degrees are in when you present yourself. And that's it. That's the wonderful world of counseling credentials and licensure and accreditation and all of those acronyms you're going to learn um, so well 